You know, guys, it's uh, a little bit past 10 p.m. at night. Um, I don't even know why I let this stuff bother me. I don't know why I care, but I do. Um, you know, as I've had many conversations before, I kind of get very irritated with a lot that goes on in the fitness world. And sometimes when you're doing things right and above board and ethically, you don't lie about anything. Um, there's always got to be somebody out there who's got to be that, a lot of profanity I don't want to say, that hater. Okay? Um... Now, if you've watched my channel before, you know my history. You have the right to believe whatever the hell you want. You can take my word for it. You can not take my word for it. The choice is entirely yours. Um, but I started lifting weights when I was 17 years old. And I did it to build confidence and I did it to get stronger and bigger because I was constantly bullied for a long time. Um, and lifting is where I took out a lot of my anger and my frustrations and it made me feel better because it was therapy for me. And, you know, I never took it that seriously. It was just something that I did. And as time has gone on, it's become a passion of mine. Um, dispelling the myths, getting rid of the lies and the deceits and the sales pitches and everything else that's going on. And still to this day going on and people still haven't learned their lesson yet. Um, and one of my goals in life, and I mean this, like I, I'm not trying to be a motiva motivational speaker. I, I want you to, to understand where I'm coming from. I actually said this to somebody the other day. Um, if I can change, th let's say 30 teenagers lives, you know, guys and girls who are 17, um, and make sure to get rid of the lies and the hype that they're buying into and the things that are going to cause them frustration and further body image issues and further confidence issues and you know things regarding diet nutrition and all that crap um i know that doesn't seem like a large number 30 i don't i don't know but if i could change 30 people's lives Especially on the younger end of the threshold, but I, you know age doesn't really matter in, in this particular case. Sorry. I'm rambling. I'm just So frustrated um, All right If I can change 30 people's lives so that they understand that they don't have to jump through all these hoops and avoid foods and feel guilty and have all these weird things that go on with health and nutrition and, and stuff that doctors peddle and all kinds of, just, you know what I'm talking about. It mean a lot to me. And I'm not doing it because I have a magical system. I'm not necessarily the most qualified individual. Uh, there are people by far smarter, more intelligent, who know far more about this subject than the human body than I'll probably ever know. That have degrees in, you know, PhDs and biochemistry degrees and all kinds of stuff. Um, but in the past several years, I have used myself as, in no other word, less words, the guinea pig to test out all these scientific theories in terms of things like training frequency, periodization, using a taper or deload week, using volume schemes, using blood flow restriction, using the bro style. I've done keto. I'm doing, uh, you know, big uh, component and uh, advocate for flexible dieting, not the junk food version, just smart flexible dieting we're using mostly whole foods but if you have a craving for something you can fit into your macros so that it promotes better dietary adherence and just a better balanced lifestyle overall um i don't push people to compete i don't judge people if they don't want to be bodybuilders or pack on the mo most amount of muscle i just want them to be healthy find balance and get the results they're looking to get as long as they're willing to commit to the process and as I've been doing this, and if you followed my channel from several years ago to now and you've seen some of my progressions, you know, I am getting bigger, leaner, more vascular, stronger over time. 
a lot of people didn't see me when I was 17. People didn't see the frustrations I went through. People didn't see me being like everybody else and trying to figure out what the next supplement was that was going to add 10 pounds of lean muscle mass to me. Um, people didn't see my horrible dietary habits. Um, they didn't see any of this stuff. And unfortunately, probably back when I was 17, now being almost 20 years ago, YouTube wasn't what it is now. Social media wasn't, wasn't it didn't really exist. If it did, I wasn't aware of it. I mean, MySpace wasn't even around yet. Um, if it was, I wasn't that familiar with it. I mean, I don't think I found MySpace till college. So, you know, like our big thing for social media was AOL Instant Messenger. Yeah, AOL Instant Messenger. We still had dial up. Okay, guys. Um, by the time I got to college, it was like Ethernet, Wi Fi, and that stuff wasn't even around. Um, unlimited data plans on your cell phone didn't exist. You basically had like, they used to call at night because you had unlimited calls and there were no text messaging plans. Anyway, um, you haven't really been there as I've gone through the aches and pains of, the pains of joints hurting, um, knee pain, back pain, sprains tweaks beat myself up over and over again and by the way listen like this is just training this i'm not just you know there are harder things in life this is a voluntary hobby that i'm doing let's just get that straight but over the past probably six years while a lot of people are worried about where they're going out on friday night i've been you know i have a house i have a family i have a kid i study i read I follow a lot of other natural bodybuilders and powerlifters and other methods that are coming out to understand why they're planning that way to guarantee or warrant certain results or get the body to grow or strength or whatever. When I'm driving in my car, I'm listening to podcasts about this stuff. I have books that I'm reading on this stuff. I am choosing to educate myself and, and try to gather as much knowledge as I can and constantly figure out how to improve, how to get better, how to apply certain things to my clients that I'm working with or myself or whatever the case may be. And after doing all of this work that nobody sees on the back end, they only see the guy lifting in the gym, um, the, the first accusation is it's not possible. Okay. First of all, you're acting like I'm 300 pounds of solid muscle. At the top of my bulk, I'm 197, 199 pounds tops. And not even shredded, just like, you know, a good, a good healthy amount of body fat on me, well-balanced diet. If I want to have, you know, pizza, I have it, or cookie, I have it, I, just, I make it work. Um, I don't live in a gym, all these type of things. So once you see me at the top of my bulk, the next statement is one, it's not possible. And then two, the next statement is he's on something. Okay, listen, I've addressed this before and I get it. There are a lot of athletes out there that have said they're not. And then people have come out with accusations and then they've either admitted to it later after the fact or two have gotten popped on a drug test. Now, like I said, you could take my word for it or not. The decision is yours. But I prefer that since no one has any evidence and never will because I have never done it, I can go to bed every night, put my head on my pillow and know that as my son gets older and if he ever decides he wants to get into weightlifting and training and or bodybuilding, that I can wake up, look him in the face and say, son, I never did that. Let me show you the way I did it which I believe is a healthier option. And that's the end of the story. I'm not lying to him. I'm not lying to anybody else that's a client of mine. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not gonna set people up for false hope. I'm gonna show them the way. I'm gonna tell them it's gonna take time. It's gonna take patience. It's gonna take commitment. A lot of which society seems to be lacking today. We all want the 30, 60 day, 90 day results, maybe a year tops. And it really, shouldn't bother me, but it does. It bothers me a lot. And it's because when you work so hard at something, and granted, there are people who are far more committed to their diet than me. There are people who are far more advanced in the understanding of training than me. But when you work really hard at something, you, you 
really just commit. And somebody then tries to undercut you because they're pathetic. That's what it really comes down to. Um, they're jealous and everything you do reminds them of every ounce of effort they never gave. Has to then sit there and try to cut you down and tell people things that aren't true, people who don't know you, people who just see you, and will try to ruin your reputation with your clientele, um, which won't happen because any of my clients who work with me know what I preach and I practice what I preach, and I hardly even talk about supplementation, let alone any sort of drug use. But it, it just, it, if you have nothing good to say about somebody you really know nothing about, then you should keep your name and anything you think you know about them out of your mouth. Plain and simple. Because karma, it can come and get you. See, I don't bother wasting my time and my energy talking or tearing people down. The only thing I want to do is build people up and help reach their goals. So, all you little internet trolls and people I thought I was cool with in my life, keep your opinion to yourself, okay? You can say whatever you want in the stupid internet world, whatever. I mean, most of it's a joke anyway. I, that's the biggest problem is nobody really at, wants real serious conversation. Everything's a joke. However, for those of you who have met me in person, for those who have seen me train over the past couple of years, for those of you who are my clients, I will always give you the honest truth. I will always teach you to the best of my ability. And I, if I don't have an answer to a question, I will go find the answer to their question or I will find you a coach better than me and refer you to them. I'm not a greedy bastard. I have nothing to sell. I have no sponsorships. I have no affiliations. Natural bodybuilding as a pro is not gonna make me any money. Nor is YouTube, nor is Instagram. And I'm not looking to make any money off of these platforms. I use it to send a positive message in hopes that somehow, some way, amongst all the people that are trying to be funny and celebrities and have catchphrases and say you apparel and whatever agenda they have. And listen, they're more than welcome to build their business off this platform if they want to. That's not my goal. My goal is to just make this all more reasonable, get rid of the absolutes and extremes that exist in the fitness world as much as possible and just think logically and in a smart, intellectual, balanced approach as there's a lot of different ways to do the same thing. I think there's some ways that are a little bit more, I don't know, may warrant a better result than others. I don't wanna use the word optimal because that's still hard to prove. But that's my only goal here. If, if my only imprint on this earth, like I said, is working with 30 people in my entire life and getting them to get it and understand it and live it and love it one way or another, even if it's just to be in better shape, and I'm saying competing, then I've done what I've, I've set out to do. All right, guys. I know maybe it should be a compliment to me, but I hate the drug accusation. I have worked way too hard. I've killed myself. I put myself through some drastic pain and agony for no apparent reason in certain instances to get to where I am. If you can't accept that, if you keep putting the I'm in front of possible, then I'm sorry that you have mental limitations. I'm sorry that you allowed yourself to have excuses. And I'm sorry that you just can't get out of your own way. But do me a favor, while you're wallowing in your own self pity and being miserable, don't try to take other people with you. Not me, I won't let you. And every piece of you know, ammo you think you're gonna throw at me, I use it for fuel for every rep I do in that gym. Thank you. Keep telling me what can't be done and I'm gonna keep standing here showing you what can be done. And by the way, I don't have the best physique in the world. So there are people by far superior to me. So if you think I'm impossible, I'm not even close to a top natty. Anyway guys, Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. For those of you who do follow me and do understand and do appreciate my advice, thank you. I'll talk to you guys later.